Hello, San Luis Obispo Country Club members and golfers. Uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to what we have to share today. I want to talk to you today about overseeding of tee tops. This fall, we are selected with uh, overseeding the par threes, uh, number three, uh, number eight, number 14, number 17, and number nine because of club selection used on that hole as well. Um, and then some of the practice tees. Uh, we've we ex explained this to the greens committees uh, about what's going to be going on and the processes, but just a little bit of historical as to what got us to this point. Uh, before our renovation project, we were tasked with coming up with turf types that are going to be best fit for the architect's design, but also our area, specific to our area. And we did a trial uh, down to where the short game area currently is. And we did it with uh, two different types of Bermuda and multiple types of seed overseeded into those Bermuda uh, turfs. And we learned that Santa Ana Bermuda was the best Bermuda to use. And by selecting Bermuda, that allows us for great divot recovery and repair um, and a very tight, consistent turf top on the tee tops. Um, but then on top of that, we wanted to consider the winter time. And in the winter time, we don't have the color from Bermuda and we don't have the recovery. And there's, quite frankly, there isn't really a turf that is going to recover completely or fully like we experience in the summertime that we would have for the wintertime, but we can move the needle, we can make things better, we can improve. And by doing such, when we set up this turf plan during the renovation project, we selected Santa Ana to intercede uh, bent grass into the Bermuda. So we've done a trial since then, take a two year trial. We started in August of 22, and we selected a couple tees based on shady areas or full sun areas and we put the bent grass seed in and we tried multiple ways of incorporating that bent grass seed in to find the best success. And what we've learned is the best ways to incorporate that seed, but then on top of that also that it doesn't look like a weed. Um, I would challenge you to tell me which tees that we, we have it out on the golf course. It doesn't look weedy as it transitions from one to the other. As Bermuda slows down in growth and loses its color in the fall, the bent grass fills its, its, uh, its voids and uh, improves uh, the strength and the color. Um, and we did a trial this last winter with the golf team and they went out and took some divots in those, uh, in those trials of a Bermuda untouched and a Bermuda with overseeded bent grass into it um, after it had a full year of growth. And we saw that there was definitely improvement it wasn't, uh, the, it wasn't uh, that you're getting full recovery as fast as we can, but we are getting uh, results that justified uh, doing this and, and the overseeding process. Um, to manage your expectations as to what's going to take place and what, we have, what we've done on the par threes and in the short game area and the driving range tee, practice tees, is we, we've learned that a burn down, so literally turning the Santa Ana to a straw color uh, yellow is to stunt it as it's going into the winter season to kind of initiate a dormancy almost before dormancy and then to seed the bent grass into it. So that's a burn, that's a scalp, that's a verticut, take it really tight and then we put seed over the top of it and we water and fertilize like crazy to get the seed to germinate and come up before the Santa Ana actually will recover, will rebound before it goes dormant. And uh, to, it's, a, it's a fight, it's a battle uh, between the two turfs to bring the, the bent grass up because uh, we know that the Santa Ana will win come next spring. So we want the two to establish with each other and by doing such, we burn down um, and it'll be something that won't look the normal um, and we'll be sharing photos within this video that show the look, the manage that expectation of what it is, but it is all to provide divot recovery, color, and uh, better experience for the members uh, extending the growing season instead of maybe uh, not having people on, able to hit off of the uh, practice tees in uh, November, maybe more in November months and more in the March months to shorten that timeline where there isn't as many restrictions. Um, and provide a better experience for your membership. So thank you very much for following.